What's going on, everybody? Joey here with Boomer TV. All right, so as we all know, the internet is a boundless plethora of entertainment, right? Some of the stuff you can find on the internet is just weird. It's it's absolutely just weird, okay? So I was going through and I seen this article by Variety about an actress called Kira Knightley. I don't know much about her. I've probably seen her in movies and just don't realize who she is, you know, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm not that big on celebrities. I'm not the guy that's like, you know, got a lifetime subscription to TMZ or nothing. But the the headline is what caught my attention, right? So I thought, all right, we're going to look at this article. And I, I have not read it, so I'm going to do this with you guys. This, this, I, could, this art, the, I can't even talk. The headline's stupid. All right, so. Kira Knightley reveals discomfort of male gaze. I'd just rather not stand in front of a group of men naked. Well, no shit. I don't think anybody would. I didn't want to do it. Nobody wants to do it. You don't want to do it. You don't want to do it. No, I wouldn't want to stand naked in front of a group of women. As much as guys be like, oh, that's my fantasy. You're fucking full of shit because you're, you're self-conscious. Nobody wants to do that. So, <laughs> I just can't believe half the shit on the internet. Oh, okay, so that's Kira Knightley. All right, well, she looks like she has some serious resting bitch face going on. So, Miss Knightley, Oscar-nominated actor. Nominated? Okay. You didn't win one, but you got nominated, right? That's like saying, well, I almost got into the Olympics, but I placed in 11th place instead of 10th. The imitation game has revealed her discomfort in falling under the male gaze while filming intimate scenes. In a conversation with the farewell filmmaker, <sighs> Lulu Wang and writer-producer Diane Solway on the, Sh on the Chanel Connects podcast, Knightley said her decision to add a no-nudity clause to her contract since becoming a mother was partially due to vanity. So basically what she's saying is she's got the mommy stretch marks, which there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing whatsoever. If anything, I see a woman having stretch marks and stuff like that from giving birth as a sign of growth. She now has responsibility. She's not out there just, you know, fucking tearing it up. You know, woo girl and shit. Woo! You know, no. She's got a little bit of responsibility now. So. It's the male gaze. Jesus Christ. <laughs> if I was making a story that was about the journey of motherhood and body acceptance, I feel like I'm sorry, but that would have to be with a female filmmaker. Okay, so you're okay with a female filmmaker, you know, showing your little boobies or, you know, your hoo-hoo, but do you think it's going to be only female people on that entire crew? The sound people, the light people, the script people, the people bringing donuts and coffee and shit and whatever weird shit you guys eat, like only green Skittles. The fucking stupid. I don't have an absolute ban, but I kind of do with men. I don't want it to be those horrible sex scenes where you're all greased up and everybody is grunting. I'm not interested in doing that, Knightley continued. I feel very uncomfortable now trying to portray the male gaze. So basically what you're saying is you had a kid, you got some stretch marks and shit now, and you're self-conscious about your body. Now, if you were saying you didn't want to do the nude scenes for ethical reasons, you know, things like that, it goes against your religious beliefs. I, could, I, I can respect that, and I can respect your decision for this here, but it's just silly to try to make a big news article out of it. Nobody cares. I promise you. I don't give a fuck. I don't even I didn't even know who you were until I seen this this article. Yeah, so apparently I don't want to see you naked either, Miss Kira Knightley. Saying that there's times where I go, yeah, I completely see where this sex would be really good in this film, and you basically just need somebody to look hot. What? What? So therefore, you can use somebody else because I'm too vain. 
and the body has had two children now, and I'd just rather not stand in front of a group of men naked. Hey, you pay me what she's getting, I'll stand in front of the group of guys naked, and I'm not even gay. But I'll do it for the money, fuck yeah, in a heartbeat. Both Knightley and Wang discussed on how the ongoing uh, coof, uh, you know, bad times, I can't say the words because YouTube will flag this video, Ah, uh, man. <laughs> Had disrupted their plans. Wang says she probably would have already been in Hong Kong at this time, prepping her shoot and scouting locations. Wang was referring to Amazon original series, The Expatriates, which if a lot of you don't know what an expatriate is, it's a person that now you know left their home country and now lives in another country. It's called an expatriate. That will follow the personal and professional lives of a group of expatriates in Hong Kong. Hey, man. You know, I stand with Hong Kong, baby. Let's go. Knightley, who pulled out the Apple TV Plus series, The Essex Serpent, last year due to family reasons during the pandemic, said she is due to film in and around London. Next up for the actor is comedy Silent Night. So basically, what you get from this whole story, they could have saved all this space and just said, Kira Knightley thinks she's ugly, now she don't want to get naked no more. Simple, easy, fast, to the point. Stop wasting our fucking time <laughs> with pointless shit that nobody cares about. All right, Kira Knightley is the only person that cares about Kira Knightley not doing booby scenes in movies i promise you i didn't even know who this chick was anyways that's all i wanted to say i'm out peace